Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're playing Undermine. Again, I really like this game. I've been over it a lot, but uh, I was playing it, and this is a pretty interesting room. So we're here, and it's kind of like a gauntlet. So I've gone through three, no, two waves. So I came into this room. You can see there's enemies here. That's why I'm not. I'm just going to talk for a second before we get into it. But um, there is a lever in the center of the room. I pulled the lever. You can see up here, it looks like a gate to, I don't know, some important gate, right? And it requires some special key compared to like our normal key, which is up here in the upper right. Anyway, I pulled the lever, guys spawned, and there was just like a bunch of, they just appeared, like uh, in a cloud of smoke or whatever. And uh, so this is the third wave. And so, I'm really... Hmm? I'm trying to be cautious of these guys the most. They, they kind of like sneak up. Oh! Okay, so one more. Where is he? Oh, I fell down. Shoot. So then, after each wave, we get a little bit of health. Looks like they just took that thing out, so... <laughs> what? So what else? Oh, they can just pick up rocks from wherever. Okay. So these are the throw bows. So we have a, a relic that um, is setting him on fire, by the way. Okay, so that's that. We get this steak. Nice little steak dinner. Okay, and we get the key. So it's it's the gauntlet. Cool. Library key. Only a few members of the King's Court ever had access to the library. Secret area here. We'll just check this out real fast. Oh, another key. Mm, another key. I'm kind of... It seems like too good to be true, right? Just a bunch of free stuff. Well, a couple of free things, I guess. That's kind of an exaggeration. Okay. So, I guess we're going to come up here. I don't see a way down. That was the last... No, it was not the last room. Let's come down here real fast. There's one more dark room. And I kind of want to see... Yeah, it is the way down. You can see it over here in the mini-map. That's where I'm looking. Um... Yeah, we're going to go over here and get it. We're going to go ex explore it because there's probably some gold and I might die going into the library. And you can see we've racked up quite a bit. So it would be kind of cool to have a little bit of extra. I don't know why this one's lit up. Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay. So that's where they keep the golds. Good to know. This is my first time, like, with uh, any extended amount of gameplay in this area, in the halls. You can see it down here. We're in halls one. This is clear now. We have four keys, though. I think we're going to go unlock the merchant. That's like the golden pill for a guy. Let's come over here. And that secret door already looked at that place. Okay, so usually, whenever you have to... Yeah, so they have decent food. Usually it's better than this, though. So that's 40, not great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Temporarily increases throw damage. This one uh, drops bombs continuously. I'm not a big fan of the potions in this game, though, so... Yeah, I'm just going to pass on it. It's kind of expensive. I'd like to take as much of this gold home as possible. So let's go into the library now and check this out. Yeah, give me that egg. Hatchling discovered. It's a spirit hatchling. Hatched by the collector. I don't know who the collector is. Maybe he's an NPC. Or they are an NPC. So far, all the NPCs are dudes in this game. Even though the player character alternates, it seems like pretty consistently between male and female. Get the book. Artifact discovered. Dusty book. A tattered book with the name Arcanos. Written on the inside. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> you can see why they keep people out of the library. There's not much there. And now we're going to go to the halls. Floor 2. Descend into the deep. So these things are gnarly. They they hatch out like four of these like big jumping spiders each. And they are really aggressive. Just like real jumping spiders. I hate those little things. They freak me out.
Okay, we got this thing. This is where they keep the gold. Look at all that gold. And I think we'll just get that one plant. Oh, there's one more thing here. There we go. Give me that bomb. We got seven bombs now. We have seven bombs now. Everything is bigger and more dangerous in the halls. Oh, look at that. And it sprouts two of them. Great. I'm going to come back over here and grab this key before I accidentally hit it and destroy it. Jeez. Okay, there we go. More gold. It's like, a, it's like a lantern made out of gold. I kind of like it. I don't see anything else in this room. I usually like check the upper walls because sometimes they have gold. You can hit it. Let's check this out. Sometimes whenever you blow those things up, they... Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if blowing it up revealed this secret room or if um, I just hadn't noticed it until that point. But let's go in the secret room. Oh. What? What? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. So you can use the key to unlock this? And then what? I don't know. Sometimes you come... Like, in this game, you come into something like this and it's... That's trapped, or like there's something, it, like there's more than meets the eye. So rainbow kernels brewed at the alchemist. Okay, I don't think I've unlocked the alchemist yet. Maybe at this point in my playthrough, um, it's it's unlocked, or he he or she or whoever it is is unlocked for some reason. I don't know. I say for some reason because so far things have just kind of like been happening in this game. Oh, that's cool. He just kind of dropped back down, and then the uh, the throwbow left. I say left, but they just they went into the abyss. Okay, raise the familiar to maximum level. Sweet. That was a like an, achieve, an achievement. Go over here. It's not on Steam though, so frankly, I don't care. Float boat. Float boots. Float boats. Walk on air. I haven't seen that one before. We're gonna try it right now. Oh, nice. Okay. That's going to be really handy. So I'm really, I'm trying to avoid those like egg sacks because they're, it'll take, I'll do some, I'll take some damage if I get hit by it. Or if, uh, if I blow it up, the spiders, they're bad. Okay, I don't like these guys. There we go. They they cast a spell that um it'll it'll hit you anywhere. Anywhere you are on the the map. And so those um the gargoyles, they go like well, it's like a gargoyle. They go into like um their statue-esque form and then they heal up. Do your thing. There we go. Cool, we got a bomb for completing this room. I kind of stopped seeing those. Like, once I, I leveled up enough... Oh, look how fast our familiar is. Once I leveled up enough, I kind of stopped seeing the... Like, the rewards for completing a room. Um, if you come down here and unlock that, there's a vendor. We will probably do that just because the food... I'd like to continue this this playthrough as much as possible. So, um, even like spending an exorbitant amount on a little bit of food to extend it, you know, the, the play by like one level is worth it to me. And a bomb, what is this? Drop some useful things. Nope, they... <laughs> They're usually not worth the price of the potion. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the, the potions in this game. They're just... I don't know. You can only hold one, uh, first of all. And they're... You know, one use, that that makes sense. But, like, those two things combined, they're just kind of like... I don't want to... I don't want to, like, uh, get to the point where my gameplay relies on a potion. And then, when I need it, it's not there. 
I guess if I used them more often, then, you know, I I don't know. I might get used to them. Like, right there, I've passed up I don't know how many potions in this playthrough, but that's just the way, that's just the way I do it. Oh, nice. Look at, look at the, oh, the canary's doing work. I can't even get any of the gold myself. Okay, we're going to apply poison to our weapon. I didn't see anything else in that room, so we will descend into the third level. Oh, look at all that gold. Oh, there's a, okay, there's a merchant right here. Nice. We haven't taken any damage since the last, last one, which is pretty cool because our food is just kind of like stacking up now. What's this? Avoid falling into holes? Oh, but it's a potion. We already have the boots that do the same thing, and they're permanent. So I like the relics in this game. However, I don't think any of them are worth... Oh my god, what in the... What is going on here? It looks like they're fighting each other, doesn't it? Oh, I just took some major damage there. I think. I'm trying to... I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that guy to spawn again. Like a ninja dude, but I don't think he will. So let's go ahead and just go about our business. Oh, that guy throws bones fast. Oh, maybe not. I just went slow. <laughs> cool. So that guy's down. The throw bow. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, this, this was not a good room for me. Yo, yo. And... Oh, are you kidding? The, the guy's head pops off, and you have to kill that, too, before the, the doors open. Just checking to make sure there's nothing else here of interest. There's one of these guys. Here are those jumping spiders I've been talking about. I'm waiting for the guy to ca stop casting spells. Nice little hit and run there. I like that. Nice. Okay, cool. Ooh, hopefully we can get some more food. Um, see, we have six keys. There's a relic in this room. You can see on the mini-map, that's the little sign for the relics. Um, this one's okay. Whenever a projectile is coming at us, we can do a melee attack, and then we can send the projectile back. And then the cool thing about it is that it's kind of homing, is what I've noticed. Like, it, it homes in on... The enemy that launched it. He's gone. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of cool that we can... What's well, really cool that we can walk on air. Cool. Not too bad. <laughs> we only have like a couple of heads, a couple of hits left in our in our life bar though. And that canary's awesome. Thank you, little guy. Nothing else in the room. I feel like I'm missing some secrets, but... And these... These guys are interesting, so I, I guess, like... I think it's meant... No? Because they can't blow up these things. So I was thinking, like, maybe you get them, like, next to blocks, and then they can explode the blocks, or, like, the, the rocks, or whatever. Oh, shh. I just stepped on the, um... Dang it. On the trap? Man, I can just, like... Let the canary do whatever. That's awesome. Don't have to worry about getting gold anymore. We are going to go over here, though, and we're going to blow this up. And get the chest. It might be trapped, though. I'm always worried about the trap chest. Remote detonator. Um, that doesn't sound very cool. I don't want the bombs to rem detonate remotely. Look at that. Still, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, Canary, get it all, buddy. Get it all, little guy. Almost at $20,000. This is by far the most I've ever seen before. Oh, shoot. There goes our armor. Brutal. And it looks like, oh, cool. So we got the key. We're set up pretty nicely for Halls 4. I'm really surprised how we've made it this far, frankly. Like, I, I started, well... So I fought the boss. Um, 
I guess it was like the dungeon boss. And then I thought like, okay, I'm going to die shortly after this. There's no way because this is by far the, the farthest I've made it in this game. And then here we are. So I'm just kind of surprised. Okay, there we go. I want I want this guy to like Oh sh and he does damage like that? That's lame. I wanted him to like turn into the statue over the void, like over this air, so that way he would just fall down and I wouldn't have to deal with him, but there we go, that's good enough. So where should we go next? There's a boss fight up there. Probably not gonna make it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at that boss. Okay, so we need to get that key, I guess. What is this? We're gonna try to blow it up. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sometimes curiosity kills the cat, huh? And so we can't... There's another one? Okay. Interesting. This thing is... It's locked from the other side. Well, shoot, I... Okay, so with 13 health, 12 health now, I don't think that we can take these two guys on. That's one way to do it. You can just go kill the guardians of the gate and get in the gate that way. Because one of them will drop the key. Now we got some health. Wow, this is a lot of spiders. I wonder if we get something for killing them all. Okay, what's this one? This is the bomb one, right? No, increases swing damage. That potion, no thanks. Let's go to the other side of this little T intersection. Just walk right across the air. Oh, no. Oh, bad news. That's a lot of damage. Still taking it. That's probably the end. Yeah, shoot. Okay, still over $20,000. Look at that. It's just like a pinata. <laughs> they, just, they just whacked over the pinata. Anyway, this game is called Undermine. Um, I, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. If this looks like something that could be interesting to you, you should check it out. I'm not sure if there's a demo. I think it's 25 bucks on Steam. Goes on sale to like, I think $10. Then I'm playing it through the Xbox Game Pass. But thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.